Well, it appears robots aren't just stealing human jobs, but they're after man's best friend too. That's right, there's now a drone that can bark like a sheepdog. This latest development comes as more and more farmers start using drone technology for work on the farm. Our rural reporter, Maya Burry, and video journalist, Simon Rogers, have the story. Now, if you're listening to this, this is one that you will need to go back and watch online a little later. Take off. High up in the hills of a North Canterbury farm, a drone is being put through its paces, shifting sheep to greener pastures. Corey Lambeth has been a shepherd on this sheep and beef farm, which backs on to the Wyo River, for about three years. It's a job that involves moving stock, as well as checking water and feed levels, work that Mr Lambeth says his drone has made more efficient. Winter time, it's ideal for checking lot flying it, sitting at home on a cold day, I don't want to go outside, so I'll fly my drone around, have a look, make sure all the stock behind the wire when we're stuck brake fencing. Also, in the, when we're lambing, we can fly it around. It's ideal for the zoom, going in, right in, looking at it, not even disturbing the ewes and lambs. The latest drone model, the DJI Mavic Enterprise, which comes with a $3,500 price tag, is able to record sounds and then play them out over a speaker. This means a dog's bark, or anything else for that matter. can now be loudly projected across a paddock. Mr Lambeth says this helps move stock along faster during mustering, while still putting less stress on the animals than a dog can. Well, that, that's one thing I've noticed when you're moving cows and calves, that the old cows stand up to your dogs, but with the drone, they've never done that. Can you just explain what you mean by stand up? Um, pretty much motherly instinct, getting up in the dog's face, trying to tell it to go away, leave me alone and my calf alone, compared to the drone, get behind it, use the siren or the bark, and the cow's like, what's that? I can't see it, I'm away. Corey Lambeth says while old school farmers may consider it lazy, they should think about a drone as saving them time and money. Over Christmas, where me and my partner were sitting at home and we heard the cows mowing, so oh hello, what's going on? We flew over and seen the, the water trough was broken, and then I had to go and find where the leak was. It took me 30 minutes from finding it to actually fixing it, so saved me driving to each individual paddock, looking at each trough to make sure. And Mr Lambeth's employer, farm owner Ben Crosley, tends to agree. In fact, the fourth generation farmer has now bought one for himself too. Mr Crosley says while some farmers struggle with the new technology, it's important to keep up. I used to sit and have a go and see my grandfather every night. He lived on the farm. And yeah, he even struggled with cell phones, so yeah, having a drone to master stock would have been a shock for him, yeah. And um, I guess it just goes to show that farming's changed quite a bit. Yeah, it has. Just trying to get efficiencies too, just save time. So yeah, it can sometimes take half a day to try and find a water leak, whereas the drone you can zip around and have it done in uh, an hour for the longest. So, no, it is. Pretty handy. While drones are a new part of the farming toolkit, Corey Lambeth says technology can sometimes let you down. With what real severe wind and that, they'll dry, you couldn't fly a drone on it, but with the rain as well. But which I'm sure in the future they'll be making developments on to the, make it more durable for in winter time and that. But that's when you would use a dog on wet days and that. Yes, yes, five. Corey Lambeth says he has no plans to start leaving his five dogs at home when it's time to go to work. Yes, there's definitely got to be places for dogs always on the farm. So, uh, the one downside of the Mavericks and all, anything electronic, you still need to bring them in and charge them. And the lifespan of that is compared to 10 years of well looked after dogs is ideal. They're a bit more loyal as well, aren't they? Yeah, they, they have got a good character. Get, you get to talk to them all day. So while barking drones are now a reality, Mr Lambeth says the technology still won't have your back quite like a dog does.